Let's get our life back together. Hey guys, it's me, Beth. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna be getting my life together for the new year for 2024. I just need to like reset and stuff like that. I'm gonna be going over like my new year's resolutions and stuff like that with you guys. And just some tips to start off your year a little bit better. Although I'm filming this on January 4th. I had a sleepover with my friend on New Year's Eve, so I needed to recover a little bit from that. Also ignore the really overdramatic lip combo. I was trying something new that I got for Christmas and it's kind of a lot, but just bear with me. So, I have this notebook right here, and I just wrote down my New Year's resolutions on the first page. And then on the second page, I wrote down just like YouTube goals in general because that is a whole different story. On the next page, I wrote down my ideal morning routine that I wanted to do, and then like some afternoon habits, I guess. And then on the next page, I wrote the same thing, but like night routine because I'm like very like all over the place, and like since I homeschool, my routines are kind of lazy. So like I wanted to write down like a set in stone morning and night routine so I'm not as lazy. This is actually the first step of getting your life back together. Write down a list of resolutions, things that are actually possible for you to stick with. So I put everything in categories on here. So before I'm gonna show you guys my goals for the new year, I'm gonna show you guys my goals from last year and what I succeeded, what I didn't succeed, why and when. All the little nitty gritty details in my 2023 bullet journal. So my 2023 goals I just put on the very first page of my bullet journal right here. There's a become closer to God category which was Bible before phone every day. I did not succeed this goal. I did read my Bible a lot this year. I kind of fell short of it in the last month of 2023 because of like Christmas break. I was going out of town a whole bunch. Pray more was also one of my goals, which I have definitely been praying a lot more often. And it just kind of naturally came, I guess. Go to Motion 2023. This was in July. I did go to this, so I would say that I did succeed the goal. The link will be up in the iCard if you want to watch like my pack with me slash travel vlog for that. Become a better dancer was the next category. Work out every day and stretch every day. I did not succeed these goals. Go to dance more often. I did succeed this goal because I wanted to go more times a week and then I started going Tuesday and Saturday along with Monday and Thursday. Track progress slash correction. So I did do this. I didn't do it for every dance class but I did do it pretty consistently. Work on back posture. This is definitely something I worked on the entire year. I did fix that a lot. Grow YouTube channel and hit 1k. That's crazy. Upload every week. Yes I basically did upload every week except some weeks I couldn't or I just uploaded it a day late. Buy a vlog camera. Yes, I did buy a vlog camera and I got it in November. Get monetized. I did end up getting monetized. I got monetized in July, which I put that money towards getting a camera. Track growth and video plans and bullet journal. Okay, so I did track my YouTube subscription here, which is crazy to see like my growth and stuff throughout the year. And then, like in like my weekly spreads in the bullet journal, I would like plan when to upload the videos and stuff like that. Become the best version of yourself. Put make a routine. I did kind of have a little routine that I did every now and then, but like I said, I'm homeschooled, so I fall short of routine easily. Reduce screen time. So I feel like I kind of need to work on it still. I mean, it kind of just like went up and down. Have self-care nights. I did do this pretty often last year and have a solid skincare routine. I never ended up making a solid skincare routine, but now I feel like I have one. Finish my room makeover. Paint my walls. I'm not painting my walls yet. Build my door, which my door just got done like a week ago. Build closet and desk. Yes, my closet and desk are done. They just need to all be painted. Buy dream room decor. I have bought a lot of room decor this year, but I definitely don't have everything that I had on like my mood board for my room. Stop Stop eating gluten. Oh honey, that was never gonna happen. Get rid of eczema. I have not fully gotten rid of it yet. If you don't know, I have eczema in my scalp and stuff. Schedule a dentist appointment for braces. I have not gotten braces yet, but it's just because I haven't lost all of my baby teeth. I have one more though, which it needs to be pulled. So I'm gonna be getting braces this year anyways. And drink more water. I definitely succeeded this goal because I got a Stanley in March and it literally made me drink so much more water. And then the other goals, which is babysit for people. I do babysit a lot. It also kind of has something to do with my job. Job, so clean room every week. I don't think I like deep clean every week But I do clean my room at least once a week because like if not that'd be kind of crazy for me I look journal every day I did fall short of this because I stopped in November and like sometimes I would just get behind and stuff But the beginning of the year I was consistent in bullet journaling But I just found it wasn't the right thing for me have another amazing summer That was the last goal and you know I succeeded it last year was probably one of the best summers ever So that's basically all my goals for 2023 and these are my goals for 2023 so God is read Bible before phone every day. Again, like I said, it's still something I'm working on. Serve consistently at church. Memorize verses once a week. Always pray first. There's always a situation. Ten minutes later, I'm like, I need to be praying about this. Find a more interesting way to Bible study. To be honest, I'm 
kind of getting tired of the way that I Bible study. I feel like it's just like not as fun as it could be. So I'm trying to like research and find different ways to do it. Listen to more worship music. The next category is habits slash goals. Sunday resets is something I really want to get into. I want to clean my room, do self-care, clean my Stanley because I probably should be cleaning it more often than I actually do. Making everything shower, all that stuff. I want to be going to bed before 11.30 and waking up at 7.30. I want a five minute journal every day slash planner. If you didn't see my last video, I got a five minute journal for Christmas and once I get my planner in the mail, I want to do that every day too. I also want to reduce my screen time like during the day, like when I'm not like making YouTube videos and stuff. I want to stop caring about what other people think because nobody's opinion matters and sometimes I just don't ever think about that. Sounds kind of weird, but I need to do my nighttime skincare more often because sometimes I forget and just do it in the morning. So I'm trying to make it a routine to do it every single night. And also that relates to the next thing, stick to morning routines and night routines. I want to stay hydrated also and I want to fill up my Stanley three times a day and I want to have a self-care day once a month. So the next category is dance. So I want to work on my technique more as in mainly like turns and jumps. Stretch every day and work out whenever I don't have dance. Basically just Wednesday and Friday and maybe Sunday. And I want to write down more corrections and take more videos of me doing things so I can like keep track of my corrections and see what I'm doing wrong like on a video. And then the school category, I want to do school on every weekday because sometimes it just doesn't happen. And this year I'm getting my permit so I need to like study driver's ed and learn more about it and stuff. That is basically kind of a conclusion of everything. So like I said, I'm also going to just reset today. I'm going to make a to-do list in the same book of all the things I need to do. So yeah, I'm going to make a list really quick and I'll see you guys as I clean my room and stuff. Siri, is there 31 days in January? Hey guys, so I just got done cleaning my room and sorry if this angle is kind of weird, but I just set it on my bed. The next thing that I need to do before I get ready for dance, I need to make a 2024 mood board type thing. But basically, I'm just gonna go on Pinterest and you can do this however you want. I'm just gonna make a board of just like inspiration for 2024. I can make like a physical mood board. You can like pick out 
pictures from Pinterest and then print them and stuff, or you can just make a Pinterest board, or you can make it a computer wallpaper, your phone wallpaper, your iPad wallpaper, or you can do all of the above. But I'm just gonna go on Pinterest and create a board. Okay, so here's my Pinterest. Make sure you guys go follow me. So I'm just gonna make a quick board and just do 2024 mood board. Now as you can see, it's showing a bunch of, ooh, I'm gonna save that. A bunch of just like aesthetic quotes and just like pictures like that, I guess. I'm gonna save that too. I'm gonna scroll around for a little bit and I'm just gonna search up aesthetic pictures and then like stuff that's like related to my goals and all that stuff. So yeah, I'll see you guys later. I just dropped my phone. Hey y'all, so it's actually the next day. I'm just coming here really quick to make an outro, I guess. Anyways, I did finish my mood board yesterday. I just had to go to dance and stuff, but I basically just added a bunch of like things that were based off my New Year's resolutions. A lot of like nail pictures, like of inspiration because I wanna get my nails done sometime within the next few months. Just like YouTube pictures, school pictures, stuff like that. I have it as my wallpaper right now. I probably put a picture on the screen, but I used like the Pinterest collage thing to make the collage, but it's so cute and I love how it turned out. Some other ways to reset and get prepared for the new year is to also clean out your phone. You can go through your photos, go through your contacts, go through your emails, fix your home screen, all that type of stuff. I am gonna be going through like my contacts and photos and stuff, but that will take me a very long time because I have 15,000 photos. So I'm probably gonna do that after I upload this video. And you can also just do whatever makes you feel good. Take everything shower, get your hair cut, go get your nails done, all that type of stuff. I am getting my hair cut next week, I think, on Wednesday, I'm not sure. And I'm probably gonna take in everything shower on sunday but yeah that's basically it so comment down below your new year's resolutions and thank you guys for watching this video be sure you like and subscribe down below so you don't miss any more videos i upload every friday at 2 p.m and i hope you all have a great new year i'm so excited to see what this year has for me and my channel and stuff so yeah i'll see you guys next time bye